In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 favourite artworks from Corset 2020. I'll also be cracking a few packs of M20 and giving three boosters away to one lucky patron. Alright there, cheers for tuning in. So I'm Tim here at Digital Llama, channel all about Magic the Gathering, specifically fun casual singleton formats like Commander, Brawl, Oathbreaker and Cube. So before we get to the top 10 and booster cracking, time for a quick upkeep step. If you want to support the channel for free, please hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, Share the video with your friends or playgroup and please ring that notification bell so you never miss a video. Another way to support the channel is checking out my sponsor, Arcane Cards. They're an awesome online card store. They stock MTG singles, sealed products and a range of great accessories. You can find the link to the web store down in the description as well as a discount code to get 10% off your first order with them. And with that said, let's head to the main phase. I've been a long time fan of Scott M. Fisher and Rule of Law is a great example of his atmospheric work. This is its third printing, the last time was way back in 10th edition and its debut was in Mirrodin. Three cats, Leonin to be specific, huddle around some kind of ethereal hologram which to me looks like the hollow game table in the Millennium Falcon. Their poses seem very symbolic to me and the way Scott has used a limited palette adds so much atmosphere. Drawn from Dreams is a brand new piece of art for this set by the aptly named Chris Seaman. Alongside the quotes from Mu Yanling as the flavour text, the art has a very Asian feel to it with two koi carp frolicking in the water. It reminds me of art you'd find from the Lorwyn era. Very natural, no hint of danger or terror but with just a hint of the ethereal with the blue fish illusions along the left hand side which will look stunning in foil. Warden of Evos Isle is classic Nils Harm. Again a reprint, there is so much hinted at in this piece that isn't explicitly painted. Many of the Avon had no features at all, just suggestions of their shape in the mists. The colour choices are amazing, basically just using different hues of blue with some signature purples thrown in. The background seems to blend with the foreground elements, like the light emanating from the wizard's staff, but not in a way that flattens the image, but adds even more mystery. Blood for Bones is the first Seb McKinnon on the list, another great piece highlighting a contrast between solid detail work and a more intangible, otherworldly apparition. Again, this uses a very limited palette to convey so much, and despite the left hand pile of bones being much denser and bolder, the piece doesn't feel one-sided at all. Next is a card that perfectly captures the humour that can be found in our game, Fry is very straight up funny. A pair of bird feet and some feathers are all that remains of the poor Avon and the way that it's captured in a kind of spotlight adds to both the gravity and hilarity. Some might say the wisps of smoke coming from the stumps take it too far, but not me. The humour doesn't just end at the art though, the flavour text is brilliant too. Healer of the Glade is from longtime magic artist Darken and is a quintessentially green piece of art. Trees? Check. Flowers? Check. Weird glowing animal thing? Check. You can just feel yourself there in the glade, seeing the beams of sunlight pierce the canopy of the forest. Karl Kapinski's Corpse Knight is a beautiful bit of fantasy art. The knight almost feels like he's come from a graphic novel, but the space around the rider feels very MTG. It's quite hard to figure out where the ground ends and sky begins, which is why it caught my eye, but from what I can tell the rider is coming down a gravel path with mist and fog closing in immediately behind. The armour of the horse is a great show of technical skill, I always love seeing metals painted using non-metallic materials. Unholy Indenture is the second entry from McKinnon on my list and very much represents the card's rules. The figures on the left aid in the fallen warrior out of the water ready to fight another day. 
The perspective feels very uneasy, with the top half almost a traditional winding river landscape that comes to an abrupt halt with the wavy white line, and below, a murky green becomes the focus of your eye. Icon of Ancestry is the penultimate card on my list and brings Chris Seaman's tally up to equal Seb. Chris seems to favour very bold, bright colours in his work, so a whopping great slab of stained glass seems right up his street. The surrounding masonry is mostly in shadow and very subdued, helping the sunlight to really pull focus to the glass, and the sun seems so bright the huddle of three figures are almost glowing. I'd love to see the artist's sketchbook as he was designing the intricate panes. Also, this seems like a crazy good tribal card, and you know that's what I'm all about, so I've already ordered four copies. Temple of Silence rounds out the top 10 list in style with a fantastic update on the Theros original. Adam Parquet makes this almost look like a Turner painting, with steam rising from the swamp in the foreground and the huge temple towering over everything, piercing the dark and foreboding clouds. The yellows used balance out perfectly from the tiny torches along the pier to the highlights of sun on the upper parts of the towers. There's a cliff in there too, shrouded in darkness and smoke on the left hand side. It comes into view to the right, breathing some life into the piece so it doesn't feel completely claustrophobic. I'd love to hear your thoughts about my list, or your own favourites. But now, it's time to crack some packs. So I've got six lovely packs of Corset 2020 here. So three of them I'm going to put aside. We're going to be giving those away to a patron in just a few minutes. But with these three here, we're going to crack open and see what exciting cards are inside. I'm really excited for the full art tokens. I know that sounds a little bit silly, but that'd be good. Ley lines, obviously. Uh, temples, uh, always good. So let's just whiz through the commons here, see if there's anything of note. Uh, nothing really so far, obviously with a lot of reprints going on, there's, yeah, a lot of cards that everyone's seen plenty of times before. So we've got an Empyrean Eagle, so that is going straight into the bird deck, bird tribal deck that I'm building. Uh, Cryptic Caves, we've got a Brineborn Cutthroat, and we've got a Temple of Triumph, very on theme for the channel. Boros Temple, absolutely love that pool. We got a mountain and we got an Ajani's Pride Mate token. Loving that full art. It is fantastic that they're experimenting, like with the foil tokens in Modern Masters, uh, Modern Horizons, and now those. That is, yeah, I love to see them doing things like that. It just shows that they're sort of tr not afraid to try something new. Uh, so, second pack then, we'll just whiz through these again. And hopefully we'll come to the uncommons very quickly. There we go. So we've got an uncaged fury, iron root warlord, a meteor golem again. Got tons of those from M19 and another temple. Okay, so two out of two for temples, and that's the temple of Malady, uh, Golgari. We got. Oh, I thought there was going to be another one then, as I was. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a Thorn Thornwood Falls, and we've got a nice foil ape as well. Um, and the Soldier Token, so that is a pretty cool pack that, yeah, we've got another temple. Let's see if we can do this and make it three for three. Uh, that's going to be impossible, I reckon, but be fun as anything if it did happen. So uh, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below what you've cracked, if you've cracked anything super duper exciting. Um, yeah, and how you got on at pre-release. Uh, that would be lovely to hear. So Sky Knight Vanguard is the first one. Boros Knight for Boros Knight's deck. Vampire of the Dire Moon. We've got a Colossus Hammer. That thing is just crazy. Equip 8 and plus 10 plus 10 loses flying <laughs> for one mana. Um, yeah, Magnetic Theft and that is, is a good combo. And we got Drawn from Dreams, one of my top 10 artworks. So that is lush. Really glad to have got that. So four mana. Look at the top seven cards of your library and put two of them into your hand and the rest at the bottom of your library in a random order. And yeah, in person rather than on a screen, that art just looks incredible. Woo! Uh, we got a Windscarred Crag, a Foil Dress as well. Nice. 
and we've got a wolf token ready for um to slot into my arlen deck so yeah i'm really really happy with those three packs that was absolutely awesome um yeah got some of my favorite art and two temples which are always handy uh for building budget edh decks so what we'll do is we'll head over to the laptop and we will give away these three to one lucky patron so every month I give away three booster packs of the current standard set to one lucky patron. I have seven of you wonderful folks supporting me and helping me produce these contents. So this is my way of giving back to you. So I have seven patrons listed and numbered one to seven on screen. And what we'll do is we will head to Google's random number generator. We will type in that we have one to seven. We will hit generate and see what the outcome comes to. And it's come out to number two. So that is Jungle Fiver. Congratulations, Max. So three packs of M20 will be winging their way to you as soon as I can get to my post office. So thank you very much all for supporting me and yeah, being awesome, awesome folks. I'd love to chat about my list down in the comments below or over on my Discord, which these lovely patrons get access to. I couldn't make these videos without their support or that of my sponsor, Arcane Cards. Please don't forget to check them out with the link that's in the description below. If you'd like to see some of my Commander deck techs, there's a playlist of them right here. Or for something totally different, why not try this video? And before I disappear, don't forget to tap on the llama to subscribe for new videos every Monday and Thursday. Thanks very much for watching, catch you all soon. Cheers!